So you haven't been in the coaching world that long, right? but you're already a head coach. Yes. How about that rapid ascent? I know, pretty crazy when you think about it. Not even a year and I've been promoted, but it's funny how things happen. You know, that's why you can't really make plans. You just kind of have to go with the flow. And that's been a rhythm of things that I've come accustomed to. And it's been working for me. Uh, my ascent to the top has been rather quick, um, but uh, I welcome it and I'm excited about it and I look forward to all the adventures that are to come with Pepperdine Women's Basketball. Who was the first person you called after you got the job? My husband. <laughs> he was the first person I called. He was actually here uh, waiting around after my interview and um, I didn't know where he was so I picked up a phone and I was like, babe, where are you? And he was like, you good? And I was like, just come around the corner. And then when, I, when he came around the corner, he saw me just standing there crying and shaking. And he was like, yeah, Dee Dee, way to go. He was so happy, picked me up, spun me around, and we, we just had our moment. Who are some head coaches that you will draw inspiration from as you make your foray into head coaching? All of the coaches that I've had the luxury of being um, under their tutelage from European coaches to a lot of the uh, national team coaches I've been under. Uh, I've had the likes of being able to be coached by Gina Oriyama, Nell Fortner, and Donovan, Don Staley, who's the most recent you know, NCAA champion in Division I basketball. All of these coaches, whether I played with them or I, I was playing against them, I pulled things from them. And it'll be all the things that I use and give to the young ladies here. What challenges do you foresee having in your first year as head coach? I don't know. I really don't know. I, and I'm, I'm not being uh, facetious, you know, in answering the question that way, but I'm just going to put, take everything as it comes. The way that I've been kind of departmentalizing things for me right now so that I don't be, become overwhelmed by everything, I just take it task by task. So I'm going to take it situation by situation as it comes and hopefully tackle it head on and become victorious through it. What goals have you set for not only yourself but for your team in your first year? The only goal that I have really set is to be true to who I am and don't let anything change me. You know, I love my personality, I love my energy. It can be too much for some people at some times but they're just gonna have to get used to that. And I wanna let my light shine no matter where I am and what I'm saying and, and in, it doesn't matter who it's in front of. Uh, the same Delisha you see right now is the same Delisha you'll see if you were to walk into a meeting with me and the athletic director, with me and the president of the university. I'm myself, so I just wanna be the best version of me all the time. That's my goal for me. My goal for the team, I just want them to be able to fall in love with working on their craft. If they can dedicate themselves to that, then something beautiful is going to come from it for them as an individual and as a result, us as a team. Why do you think Pepperdine picked you? I think Pepperdine picked me because they were in a transition where they wanted change. And whatever that change was for them at the moment, I, I guess I fit that mold. Um, by them hiring me, I would assume that they were looking for someone who had a strong personality, who was able to be fierce, as a competitor, but phenomenal as a person. And I think they were looking for someone who could be a spokesperson or a living, breathing example for these young ladies to see on and off the court every day. Fierce, but phenomenal, I love that. Yes. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes indeed. <laughs>